there, everybody! My name's Ayumu Kagami, and thank you for joining me back in another episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, our goal today is to try and unlock some extra characters. Maggie has seven hearts to unlock, and beating a uh, going through two levels without picking up any hearts is Eve, and Samson is not taking damage. So hopefully we can get it unlocked, at least somebody new unlocked. We're going to do another Isaac run. And let's not forget, there's always new items to be seen. So, ah! The new item! Oh, rubber some bouncy tears. Okay, one terrifying, two hilariously. Okay, that's just too cool. I love, I love the way this looks already. We'll pop in here, and unfortunately, that's gonna put a damper on us getting uh, either of those two characters. But let's just try and you know survive in the very beginning. Ow, that was uh, <laughs> bad damage to be taken right off the bat. That's okay. That's what uh, your first Isaac run of the day should be like. Not really. You should just be good all the time. That helps out a lot. Ah, Tinted Rock. I think I'm starting to get a little bit better at uh, seeing where they are. I think my X strategy is still fairly solid. It's one of the things I'm not sure about this uh, set item is does it affect... Uh, is the damage affected when it bounces off something? And how would bouncing to- oh, I guess bouncing- Ooh, that was bad. Almost stuck myself to get hit again. Ooh, what's this? Callus, your feet are stronger. Take half a heart from stepping on spikes? That's my theory on what this item does. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry, Trinket. Still happy to have it. Alright, so let's just, uh, fight the boss. And we have Gemini. Oh, he started a little closer than I was expecting, so I think I think might actually be able to kind of cheese this a little bit. And then we pop mom. Did it get it? Yes, it did! Perfect. HP upgrade, fantastic, and another spirit heart. And that is the end of this floor. End of this floor. Next floor. Maybe creep also does less damage when you walk on it? It does say your feet are tougher. Um, I think a lot of creeps typically wind up doing a full heart of damage, but I can't be certain about that. So, the bouncing tears are pretty interesting. The rubber cement, I mean, like, just, just the, the white in his eyes kind of freaks me out. It, it looks like my tears are going a little faster than normal. Um, may the light heal you. Like she said, may light heal and enlighten you. So, I believe the sun card would be the same as it's always been. Sun card heals you, full health, and gives you uh, vision on the room. Oh, that was actually uh, a little more dangerous than I was expecting, because I did pop open both of these at once. Not a big deal, though. Great way to uh, destroy some poop faster. And we'll just keep bouncing these through. Wondering what kind of strategies you can implement. Maybe some trapping strategies? Uh, X-ray vision? X-ray vision. I've seen everything. So this should help out with, uh... Oh, two bombs is good. Um, help out with getting around a little bit more like right here. We can get into the shop for free. And I think we're gonna go with a no real money run. Just keep getting this thing up. Get some more shop upgrades, because I want them. Shop upgrades mean more things. Should not, uh, venture back that way. I no, no, we'll just follow it. And then it will be A O K C. Come on. Can you? Please? Please? Alright. You know, I got all day. Oh, hey, look, a Tinted Rock. <gasps> Dang it. That's half a spirit heart lost. Could you please? Oh, there goes that spirit heart. Please, I'm, I'm begging you, man. Oh, oh, he came out! Kill fast! Kill fast! Oh, man. Little bugger. Decided to hide in there a little too long. So, secret room! Troll bomb! Not good. I didn't say, like, terrible or anything, but, you know, still not good. Make sure I keep my eyes out for any sweet, sweet tinted rocks. Because we're always in the mood for some tinted rocks. That looks to be a different color, but I'm not seeing the X on it, so. 
We'll just uh, go down. Well, fight our boss, not uh, technically just go down yet. In due time. So, Sun Card will help out immensely, uh, getting us all our health back in case we get into a terrible situation. I wonder if it gains speed the more it bounces. It feels like the return is a little bit faster. Actually, if I can bounce it this way... What I'm thinking is I can bounce it off the wall if he jumps up. Oh well. We'll just stick going straight in front of him. Right, there we go. Avoid all those. So, uh, the question was posed uh, to Twitter. I'm not going to lie and say like I came up with it. Matchbook. Evil up. Um, what do you guys find harder? Um, the Girdlings or... Um, Dingle. Uh, Northern Lion posted it on Twitter. Uh, I really like this guy. Um, I think it's Infested Baby or Infestation. I don't know. It's, it's, it's Zombie Baby. Um, I'm going to go with a, a health run. You know, only three more HP upgrades. That seems a lot more doable, and I don't want to really throw them away. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Wet my whistle, as they say. So hopefully, um, we can get that ex those uh, three more red hearts. I'd like to have Maggie as a character. And the money is definitely good. We show show the fire's fit. No. <laughs> they just bounced all over the place. As best as we could shoot those fires. Oh, right. Uh, you get a Necro Heart. I totally blanked on that. And teleport. Not really sure how good it's going to be. I guess Curse Room would be my main situation to use it in. Uh, not my favorite item, but happy to have it. I don't think I've gotten it yet. So, I'm definitely happy to have it. And, uh... Yeah, let's go fight our boss right now. So we have Pestilence. Oh, you, uh, thinking, um, we, I don't know if this actually cuts its range down to, uh, with its divide, if it would actually be the same distance, where after it bounces, if it starts your, excuse me, range distance up again. It seems like things are going farther when they're bouncing. Um, if you could theoretically... Uh, use the lump of coal and then it would almost be uh, a way to kind of increase its damage because if you're fighting this guy you shoot this way uh, like shooting against the wall to get some extra distance on it that could be that could be a viable strategy so in some of the upcoming episodes um, I'm gonna start try Ooh. trying to play some other character I'm sorry doing some challenge doing some of the challenges. There's 20 challenges in this game, which is very exciting. I'm excited to play all those different challenges. Um, we have, on a, I don't know, probably 10 of them unlocked already. I'm not 100% sure, but we have a good amount of them unlocked. And the Ball of Bandages. I wonder if you always get the Ball of Bandages first. Gotta lick them all! So we only have a couple more rooms to go to, but could find a pill. Murder all the melty faces. You guys mean nothing to me. Murder the big fat dude. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I definitely like, even though I can't escape through the rooms, um, the uh, walking out because I have the glasses, which is something very... Uh, that was It was a good strategy that we could quickly go through rooms, um, get to rerolls quicker. Um, so it was, it was a viable strategy previously. Not being able to do that, I don't see as too much of a deal, a uh, big deal. Um, but I like that everything always stays open. Uh, once you've blown up a wall, it stays open. Which, I, I definitely dig that. I mean, it does close if you're fighting enemies, but still, I, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't want to be able to walk through everything, making it a little too easy. And did we get anything? No, doesn't appear so. I'll take another trip back in through here. Later. Because I have to walk right across the hall. 
after this room. Got some jumping pajama guys and uh, some maggots. So, okay, um, there's a, a black item that looks very much so like these little maggot guys or silkworms or whatever you want to call them. And I believe it's called the leech. Are those guys just leeches? Oh, you flash when you're on this, symbolizing you're slow. That's pretty cool. So, I do see a tinted rock in here. The color on this tinted rock is, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, a lot harder to see. I believe that's a tinted rock at the very least. It does have the X on it, which I've been... It was a tinted rock. Calling my tinted rocks the entire time. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, could have just used... Oh, hello. Another pill. From a mushroom. I mean, it's the speed down, which is terrible, but... We did... F we now... We have the knowledge. And knowledge is... Very good. So, we fought the boss. Do we want to go into the item room? I'm sorry, not the item room. The shop. I'm going to say no. Next, uh... Next floor. Oh, Red Heart just hanging out down there. And no X's in this room. For tinted rocks. Uh, it might just be like a gamma setting. Um, or something like that. Maybe just my monitor or whatever. We'll definitely, definitely go to the arcade, I think. It's chock full of money. And uh, I... I, I want to keep my options available. For going to the shop. You know, we, we donated a little bit more. I have been bombing it open a little too much um, to get extra money to find new items. Um, I believe I did it not too, too long ago. Uh, there is a, another Legend of Zelda themed item. Um, from the previous game, it was... <coughs> excuse me. Um, it would have been the Blue Candle. I mean, obviously, Compass and Map, you could call those um, Legend of Zelda based. But since Compass and Map is in a lot of games, I wouldn't call it. But they had the blue candle, which is basically well, directly out of the Legend of Zelda. Since it acted pretty much the same, looked very, very similar. Almost like a... Actually, did the first one look like a lantern? I know in A Link to the Past it looked like a lantern. I think it was just a... Oh, bugger. Um, a candle. But I haven't played the original Legend of Zelda game in... Whew, I don't know, probably five years? Went through going back through some of my older games and I just, I sat down and I beat the game uh, with uh, one of my friends you know, late night Zelda party we don't play your Hyrule Warriors or your fancy Wii U's or your Wii's or your Super Nintendo so now we go right back to old school because I never had a, and I actually never had a Super Nintendo, I played it couple of the games on it. Um, like A Link to the Past, I also played the DS version of it. Just trying to give some filler talk here as I go through rooms. But I definitely, definitely like the older versions a little bit more. Just my personal preference. Oh, I'm sorry, the 2D Zeldas. Not, they don't have to be older. Just 2D Zeldas are my favorite of the Zelda series. Um, a Link to the Past is my favorite, and A Link Between Worlds, because it's so similar to A Link to the Past, is probably my second one. If you have a 3DS, you should absolutely go check that game out. It was a fantastic game. But, killing red spy, um, red bullet flies, big fat flies. And we have the deck of cards. I'd rather have the deck of cards. Um, kind of a tricky situation. Do I want Judgment? Or do I want the Sun card? Alright, we'll take Judgment. Go to the... Sh um, we'll, take, we'll just take Judgment for a little while. And then we'll go to the arcade. And uh, we'll pop them down once we see if there are any more hearts. We got a little dingle right down here. Um, I feel... Uh, I believe I said this. The question, what do you think is harder? Gur gurglings or dingle? I personally think Dingle is harder because I see the initial charge and then I immediately ignore the fact that he's still charging at me. The gurgle Gurglings do have the creep that travels behind him and I think they're probably a little faster. 
but I typically don't see them until later. So that might be why I think that they're easier. So we'll pop down this guy. Oh, right, uh, we gotta play this a little bit. Hope to get a blood bag, that'd be really good. Or if he could pay out with some money. Blood bag has appeared in the base. Oh, I'm sorry, that was, uh... I forgot, I hadn't actually unlocked that yet. Thank you very much for that heart. And we have... Butterbean, reusable knockback. It's, uh... Yeah, it's something, at least. But, glad to, uh... I found the new item. We'll play this two more times. That'll be the end of it. Hey, look at that! We got the IV bag. I don't want it. <laughs> uh, we will donate, though. I want it. Never mind. <laughs> we'll keep our money. It doesn't want it. It doesn't get it. And we did put ourselves in the heart territory to go into this boss trap room. Very excited about that. Get some, uh, you know, maybe an HP upgrade. Huh? Maybe an HP upgrade. Alright. Maybe a red chest. And spiders. Maybe a other chest, which contains a red heart. Maybe if I... D uh, I don't dare. I was about to say, use the item... Ooh, just got caught there. Um, use my key right here, but I don't want to risk it. And I can always come back here. So. I feel it would probably be best if I didn't uh, stick around for any unwanted amount of time. Uh, or use anything, you know, and then mess up my runner or later on. You know, we're gonna need more keys. We're, we're not key rich yet. You know what, uh... Guy, whoever that what guy who said it was, having keys ain't it, everything. Not having keys is. And by God, it need you need keys in this game. So, peep. Not the biggest problem. Okay, I think bandages stopped it right there. I wonder if you can actually have a super bandage girl. That'd be really cool. Uh, I know you can get a super meat boy or a meat boy. I guess depending on how large it is or what you want to call it. Ah, bugger. Got caught in the last frames of it. Maybe I should have kept that uh, teleport. I'll get the items and get out. Okay, just calm down. Calm down. Just, oh! God freaking dang it. Maybe I should have brought that sun card with me. Not of, uh... Whew. I will absolutely... Okay, we're popping it open! Good. Good. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a heart in there! Don't let me die to... Don't die to peep! For God's sake, don't die to peep! Uh, okay, we're getting to... Uh, you know, there's no point in taking this. Um, it's based off how much damage you take. Red patch. Uh, how much damage you take would be a rage effect. <gasps> ah, I wasn't fast enough. I died to poop. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's that's garbage. Um, thank you for watching. I apologize about this terrible place. This guy's ugly, as you can see there. Um, but thank you very much, everyone. I definitely appreciate your support so far. I hope you're enjoying it. Keep on enjoying it, because there's going to be more episodes coming right here on this channel. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and five stars. Star it up. Have a good night. <laughs>